We're just going to talk a little bit about pusher axles. We may get questions as far as why do I need a pusher axle or, or something like that. And, and depending on your weight laws in your, your area, your state, your county, federal bridge, you may or may not get credit for the axle and be able to add increased weight capacity for, for legal, legal loads. We normally look at a 13,000 pound axle. Uh, there's a there's number of different sizes. Uh, it's just something that is related to your area, your state, your laws that you need to research. This truck, if you look, it's got three axles. You've got your two drivers. You've got your, your pusher axle. It's airlifted and air down. Controls are in the cab on this unit. There's just a switch that, that lowers it or brings it up. And then there'll be a regulator that regulates the air pressure. To set this axle, once you load the unit, you need to go across the scale and adjust your, your, your weight accordingly, your air pressure, to, to determine the weight you're putting on those tires and, and so forth. Going across the weight scale for DOT, that is not the time to be adjusting your air pressure. You want to do that ahead of time so that your driver knows where to set the, the axle and, and make sure he's running with it down. These axles are designed so when you go into reverse, they will pick up. They're not designed to back up, they're only designed to go down. It's a stirrable axle. And of course with the tri-axle, you got to have the tri-axle fenders. Those are all options to equipment. 